and welcome to OWL TV News. I'm Gala Jahari. And I'm Dylan Schaub. Thanks for joining us. This week, OWLs hit the books to prepare for midterms and prove their knowledge. All around campus, students were focused on studying while planning their spring break. After hectic weeks of meeting deadlines, studying, and hard work, a fun spring break is well deserved and longed for. In case you don't have any plans yet, our colleague Brooke White went around campus and asked FAU students about their plans for spring break to give you some ideas. Let's hear them. I'm going to the Keys with my mom and my sister, and we're going to go parasailing and kayaking and maybe snorkeling. Uh, this spring break, we're taking a camper down to the Keys, and I'm looking forward to partying with my friends. I'm going to a poetry night. Um, I'm going to be stepping out of church. Um, I'm going to meet for some family at home in Miami. Um, that's pretty much it, just relaxing throughout the spring break. I'm going to go home for half the week, and then I'm going to work for the rest and study for my test like a lame out. Break me, I'm going to see my sister in Orlando. She has like my little niece, so I'm going to go spend time with them. Yeah, just hang with family. Um, I'm going to California, LA. Woo woo! Party with the stars. Yeah. Thanks, Brooke. Those ideas sound great. I know I'm spending most of my spring break relaxing at the beach. Oh, that sounds like a great plan. I would love to go to the Bahamas. But on a different note, with the increasing violence going on around the world, solutions to bring back peace become an urgent matter. FAU students gather at the Student Union to stand up for peace. Doug Stryker has more. Hey Elves, I'm here at the Grand Palm Room to give you a little insight on the Stand Up For Peace event here at FAU. Scott Blakeman, of Jewish descent, taught comedy for 20 years and has appeared on NBC, CBS, The Late Show with David Letterman, and notably was an act for the 2011 to 2012 White House Correspondents' Dinner. Dino Badala, of Arab descent, was once a practice attorney and as a comedian has regularly appeared on MSNBC, CNN, Comedy Central, and various cable networks. The main goal of Stand Up For Peace is to bring people together from different nationalities and promote coexistence. I think solving the Middle East conflict, the Palestinian-Israeli conflict, is going to take a lot of work. I don't think it's easy. I think it's easy to sit back here in the States and look at it and go, why can't you just work this out? It seems pretty simple. But in reality, living there, uh, it's a different world, and I think it is a complex situation. It's going to take some time. It's going to take both sides trusting each other. I think, frankly, they don't trust each other that much. I think it's going to take the United States playing a leadership role. And I think at some point, I hope there's courage on the leadership of both sides to make some compromise. You're not going to have a peace deal without compromise. It... No, I don't think my style or my material is offensive, although you never know. It's really, that's the thing about comedy. It's so subjective. I mean, I, you know, I'm clean, I, all that, but, you know, and my political views, I never try to put anybody down. You know, I try to bring people together, but that's the thing about comedy is always the risk, even when you don't expect it. Uh, and I've been on shows with comedians who are known for being filthy, dirty comedians, and I and they got a standing ovation, and I did a political joke, and they hissed and booed me. So uh, there's a question. I'm talking about anything. I'm Scott Blakeman, the Dino Dog, and we're on Owl TV. <laughs> I'm Doug Stryker. This is Owl TV. Now back to the anchors. Thanks, Doug. We hope awareness will bring solutions and peace to the world. In other news, OWLs prepare to set their foot in the doors of companies such as Microsoft, Deloitte, and Motorola, among many others. The Career Development Center at FAU organized a career day and technical fair at FAU's arena to bring employers and students together in a professional environment in which they can interact. Students attend in hopes of getting internships or starting positions in their careers. Victoria Marshall was there to give us the details. Thank you, Dylan and Galia. Today we're here at the FAU Career and Technical Fair at Boca Raton, Florida, hosted by the Career and Development Center. Let's get started and see what this is all about. The Career Fair had a big turnout this year. A new feature was having a professional photographer from LinkedIn to take pictures. There were over 150 employers, several of which were actually Fortune 500 companies. Some of the employers shared with us what they are looking for in potential candidates. I'm working with Grant Thornton in the advisory group, so I guess in terms of the ideal candidates or ideal students of what we're looking for would be more of um, candidates that are willing to learn on the fly, candidates that are um, obviously optimistic, very um, excited about um, everything that they do. 
but more so, uh, I think the most important thing would probably be a like detail orientation. Because we're the largest professional services firm in the world, um, and not only do you have opportunities within our accounting and audit practice, but you know we have a great consulting practice, and the opportunities with us from a national and a global standpoint are really endless. So we're looking for uh, primarily accounting students um, that are interested in one of our tax audit or advisory positions, and we really want to see somebody um, that's performing well academically, uh, but also someone that uh, has great interpersonal skills. This is a rare and opportune event for students and alumni to find their dream jobs. The fair was hosted by the Career Development Center to give students and alumni an opportunity to speak with prospective employers for both summer internships and full-time jobs. Um, well, I'm trying to get either a summer leadership program or an internship or maybe even a job. I'm here to hopefully to accomplish to get a get a job and uh, to learn about all the opening careers. Well, that was a great career day and technical fair at FAU in Boca Raton, Florida. This is Victoria Marcellos, back to the anchors. Great insight, Victoria. You know, Galia, it really is important to seek experience before you graduate. It gives graduates a better chance to find a job in their career. That's true. That's why I highly encourage students to speak with a career advisor at the Career Development Center for guidance on how to succeed in your careers. I have been there myself and they have been very helpful. In other news, as temperatures begin to rise in the spring, so will gasoline prices. According to AAA, gas prices rise every spring due to refineries shutting down for maintenance until early May, which limits production and availability. Also, did you know that the gasoline sold in the summer is actually different from the one sold in the winter and as a result more expensive? It turns out that the summer blend creates a cleaner fuel <clears throat> in the summer. Why? Well, according to EPA pollution, levels tend to rise in the summer as the heat boosts the formation of the ozone, which creates an immobilized layer that traps pollutants in the lower atmosphere. As we transition between gas blends, prices are expected to rise by as much as 15 cents through the summer. Most students at FAU commute even between campuses as some classes are only offered in Davie or Jupiter. Well, Owls, you should start saving up to keep the rise of gasoline prices from hitting your pockets too hard. Don't go anywhere because there's still more, much more to come here on Owl TV News. And when we come back, don't miss out on the latest social media trends. And stay tuned to find out what's going on in the world of sports. We'll be right back. Hey Owls, welcome back. Camille Namba here to talk to you about what's trending this week. Popular comedian and TV host Jimmy Fallon took over The Tonight Show this past week and had over 8.5 million viewers. He recently had Justin Timberlake on, who is one of our favorites here at the station, and they did a performance called The History of Rap, which you can check out on our Facebook page. You can check out his show weeknights at 11.35 on NBC. The 2014 Sochi Olympics finally came to an end this past Sunday where the U.S. athletes came in second place with a total of 28 medals. The home team Russia won with 33 medals and Norway coming in third with 26. The closing ceremony was just as interesting as the first. The Russians poked fun of themselves by purposely failing to light up the last fifth Olympic ring. If you remember from the first ceremony, the ring accidentally failed to open, so it's good to see that the Russians have a good sense of humor. Well, Owls, thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you next time on Owl TV News. Don't forget that you can always stay informed by following us on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter.